Okay, good evening, and uh, we are going to learn. Uh, we are going to learn uh, the questions on the electromagnetism. Continue with the questions, objective questions, objective questions. This objective questions. Okay, this objective questions. Okay, okay. We are going to learn from questions. And the first question, first question. Uh, two small floating compasses P and Q are placed near the uh, straight long wire carrying current as shown in figure below. So the direction shown by the pointer of the compasses are okay. Now this question, uh, this one, okay, we are we are seeing this one P and Q, okay? P and Q, okay? P and Q. This one is the way you seeing the P and Q. This is a uh, this is a the wire. This is wire. Okay. This is compass. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is compass. This is compass uh, P. This compass P. This compass P and uh, compass Q. Okay. Compass P and compass Q. P and compass Q. Compass P, this is compass P. Okay, this question. Uh, compass, okay, they want compass, uh, compass P and compass Q. They weigh the weigh questions, okay. So, this one, the current, current going up. So, compass P is going down. Compass, this compass P. Compass P going down and current going up. Uh, current, uh, sorry, uh, electromagnetism, electromagnetic field going up. So, compass P going down, going down, so like this, like this, like this, going up, going up, 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 compass P is going down, so like this, this current going up, this current is going up, so compass P and compass Q, compass P and compass Q, okay, compass P, this one, you are the way you see the paper, lah. compass P is going up, going down, and compass Q going up. So the answer is uh, answer is uh, uh, P la, uh, D answer D compass P going down going down compass Q going up okay the answer is D la, question D question number one answer D question number two I will leave it first to you question number uh, I will teach this question number two later question number three a steady current flows upwards in a long vertical wire. Which figure shows the direction of a pattern of a magnetical field around the wire? Around the wire. Okay? Around the wire. Okay. This answer is C. Answer is C. Because, because the current is going upwards. Current going upwards. So, this is an anti clockwise. Anti clockwise. Okay? Current going upwards. Because dots. Dot shows current going upwards. The vertical wire go current going upwards. They say that a word, uh, steady current flows upwards. Steady current flows upwards. Dot. Dot shows. Okay. The current is flowing anti clockwise. Sorry. Magnetic field anti clockwise. Current going upwards. Current going upwards. That, but the electromagnetic field is anti clockwise. Anti clockwise. So answer is C. Uh, you may ask question uh, why, the, why not answer A? Answer A is anti clockwise. But answer A, it is uh, near, the, uh, uh, near the wire, current, the uh, electromagnetic field is a bit, a uh, circle is a bit more. Big circle more. Circle more. But answer A is uh, further. The further. There is some, some space. Some space from wire. Some space from wire. So, some space. So, uh, electromagnetic field is anti, -cl anti clockwise, same direction, correct direction, but it is a space, some further. So, but electromagnetic field be closer, be closer near the wire, near the wire, be closer. So, answer C is the best answer. Lah. Okay. And question number four, question number four, a wire carrying current passes through the center of a piece of square of cardboard P or Q, a straight wire, right? Compare the strength of the electromagnetic field points P, Q, P, O and Q. The answer is B. Answer is B, it must be B. Okay, answer must be equal at P and Q but stronger at O. Equal at P and Q but stronger at O. Why stronger at O? O 
O is a near the wire. Electromagnetic field is the always the stronger near the wire where the current flows. Where the current flows. Near the wire. So near the wire is so electromagnetic field at O must be stronger. But P and Q must be equal distance. Huh? Equal is a circle. Circle. P and Q is equal distance. Equal distance from O. So equal distance but is equal strength. Huh? Equal strength. So answer is uh, B. Answer must be B. Question number 5. A magnetic field is produced by the current in a long straight wire. The strength of the electromagnetic field increases if the strength of the electromagnetic field increases if the magnitude of current increases. Answer A. Current increase, strength of electromagnetic field increases. Current increases, the strength of electromagnetic field increases. Okay, question number 6. A current in a two parallel wire are of the same magnitude and in the same direction. The magnetic field produced are as shown in answer A. Okay, answer A. This one same wire. This one I will teach about this uh, about this so later later because uh, some some technical effect on this one that come some technical something like this. Okay, question number answer question number six A A. A but the same straight wire, same straight wire. And uh, question 6 and question 10. Question 10. Uh, uh, magnetic field pattern produced by the current in a flat circular coil. Flat circular coil. Flat circular coil means current going up and down. Current going up and down. Going up and down. Flat circular coil. So answer must be A. Okay, answer must be A. So this is what this one it is. This one will be something like this different. So this one is this one. This one is connected. Okay, this one question number ten A and question six A. So there's a difference. These two straight wire going upwards. This one one flat coil. One flat coil, one uh, straight wire means current going up and down. Current going up and down. Going up and down, so answer must be A. This one is pattern like this. And this pattern 6A is A. So you must understand this question 6 and 10. Question 6, two parallel wire. Two parallel wire. The pattern must be A. Something like A. Question 10 is a parallel wire, but this wire is connected. It's like a flat coil. The same way, one wire, but connected. Like a one side current going up, one side current going up, one side current going down. This side, this side, both uh, this wire, both uh, wire straight wire current going upwards. But this one, one going up, down. So the pattern is A. Okay, I will explain this one about this, uh, about this, uh, about later, later. Okay, later when you do something like. Uh, um, Repulsion, attraction, uh, wire. It is a repulsion, attraction wire. Okay. So I will explain this one to you later. Okay. Now we are going to do question number seven. P and Q are two wires carrying currents perpendicular to the base. The direction of the magnetic field or position between two wires are the, uh, are shown. Which of the following, uh, which are the about direction of the current and the magnitudes? Okay, okay, P and Q is P. This must be P. This wire must be P. Uh, the answer is uh, same direction greater in QK. Okay, both direction. This is P. This current, the dot current. The dot, dot shows current, the dot shows current going upwards and the dot shows current going upwards. This is YP, this is YQ. This YQ is YP. The same way, the way you look at it, okay. Okay, current, uh, magnetic field. Magnetic field, this, uh, this one is the magnet. They put it the compass inside, compass inside. So, this one plotting compass like this, going upwards. So, this current going upwards. Current going upwards, going upwards and the plotting compass direction 
direction shown uh, towards me lah, towards me, towards me. So the direction towards me, the P direction towards me lah. And uh, Q, Q, same, same direction, both direction same, both direction same. Answer according to answer. I will teach you answer. Both direction will be same. This current, current going up. But this compass is inside, inside, compass is inside, current going up, current going up. So the compass this way, compass this way, this, this direction, the four fingers direction, this compass direction or magnetic field direction, magnetic field direction downwards, uh, and P, the magnetic field upwards. So this both compass is inside, huh? this one is why I show you, the compass is inside. Okay, the compass is inside. Compass inside. Okay, it's compass is inside. The compass inside is, but current, both wires current going up. The compass inside. So, compass this side, this wire Q, compass. Uh, compass uh, wire P, compass this side. Inside. The two compasses. Okay, the compasses show the direction of the magnetic field. Huh? So, this wire current going up, P. P. Why is uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, the current is going up, going down, uh, going upwards. Okay, it's composed this way, this direction, this direction. So current going upwards. So direction like this. And why Q? Current going upwards. Current going upwards. Why Q? Like this going downwards. Going downwards. So that's why arrow going downwards. Arrow at Q is going downwards. Arrow at Q is going upwards. The arrow shows direction of magnetic field. Direction of magnetic field. Why two arrows for Q? Because current at Q is stronger than current at P. So current at Q is stronger than current at P. That's why the there's a magnetic field is stronger. Magnetic field is stronger at Q. So the answer is B. Uh, direction, same direction, greater in Q and P. Lah. Okay, magnitude of current in Q greater than P. Okay, and uh, I will I will teach these questions. I will uh, I'll explain to you again. Huh? Okay, uh, question number eight. Huh? Uh, which of the following is uh, true about the magnetic field produced by the current in the flag circular coil? It is stronger at center. It's stronger always center. Flag circular coil stronger at center. Answer C. Question nine. The strength of the magnetic field uh, of the current center of the circular coil carrying uh, current decreases, the strength decreases when the radius of the coil is greater. Radius of the coil is greater. Okay, at least this one is radius close, radius closer. So, why is closer? This one, why is longer? This, this both the flat circular coil, this flat circular coil, this flat circular coil, this radius is closer. So, this magnetic field is stronger here. here. But here magnetic field is very very weak because this magnetic field is very longer. It is longer, so the magnetic field is strong uh, is not strong enough at the center. It's not strong enough at the center. But this is strong, strong at center. So this both of circular, circular flat circular coil. But this flat circular coil having a long radius, long radius. Yeah. So the answer is um, question nine is uh, the radius of the coil is greater. Answer C la. Question 10 A, as I told you, question 11, hmm. question 11, uh, figure shows circular coil carrying current for I, X, Y, Z are floating compasses. Uh, the needles of the compasses point in the direction shown, okay. This one is this question, uh, this question, uh, okay, this question, uh, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, okay. This one is very difficult to teach this question because uh, we need a demonstration, demonstration to teach this question. Okay, I try to figure out the question to demonstrate to you next class. Next class, next class. Because I will take the table and show this one, demonstrate. This one very difficult the questions. Very difficult. Unless I demonstrate to you. Okay, mm, question 11. X, Y, Z. Okay. Uh, this X, Y, Z, okay. This current, because current going up, X, uh, X current, okay. okay. Now, question number 11, I will teach you, but answer is A, la. answer A. You can try to figure out the question, how to get answer A. 
Okay, I will teach you next question. The class. Question tells direct current flows in a solenoid, the magnetic field produced uh, shown in D. Answer D. Because uh, this is the solenoid, solenoid question. Solenoid question. Okay. In solenoid questions, this is solenoid. This is current going down, current going up. So the wire is like this, like this, like this, like this. So current, so this wire, as I told you, current carrying the wire, current carrying wire like this, like this. The solenoid, uh, we cut board, we put the current, the four fingers, four fingers shows current direction. Solenoid question different than the, the wire question just now we did. The wire question, the flat coil and the straight wire is different. The solenoid question different. So this is a current going upwards, current going upwards, like this, like this. So current because this current going up like this, like this, like this, like this, going backwards. So this wire going uh, front and backwards. So this wire is front, this wire is front. So wire is going like this, current going up like this, going down, going down, going down, going down like this. So current going up and down. So this finger shows. North Pole, North Pole. So North Pole, this one. Okay. Okay. This direction must be North Pole and South Pole. Here. This South Pole. Okay. This current going up. Solid question. Four fingers shows direction of current. The thumb shows direction of North Pole. So this four, the three fingers, the four, three wires, the four finger wires, so the same thing. So the wire like this, wire like this, going this. Okay. Okay, this one wire, this wire this, like this. So current, this is current wire, current, this current wire, current, this current, and this thumb shows not both. And this, this shows direction of magnetic field. This arrow shows direction of magnetic field. So, you must start from north, must finish in south. Start from north and finish in south, as I told you last class, last week class. Okay? So, start from north and finish in south. Okay? And uh, question number. Okay, that's one. Uh, question number 13. Question number 13. The strength of magnetic field produced by the current in solenoid increases when number one and number two. When the current increases, number of turn increases. When the current increases, number of turn increases. Okay, when current increases, number of turn increases, that will increase the strength of electromagnetic field. Question number 14. Plotting compass X, Y are placed at the ends of the solenoid carrying current. The direction of the compasses shown. Okay, now this question, this question, okay, uh, okay, this one like this, this, okay, this wire is low like this. Going down. This one, this one dotted line is back at the back, back at the back. So it's current going on this positive and negative. Current going up like this, going down, going up, going down, going up, going up, going up, going up. So current going up, down, going up. So current going up and down. Current going up, down. Down means current going up and back down, back down. So current going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, and negative this direction. Current going up, down. So the current, current shows, current shows uh, going front to back. Current. That's why. That's why I told you. That's why I told you last week. For solar question, it's important uh, current direction from the positive battery. Current direction to the, from the positive battery to the wire. Either the wire going front to back or back to uh, back to front. This wire is front to back. Front to back, this wire, this wire, this coil, coil, this is coil, this is a coil. The coil is front to back, front to back. So the current is front to back. 
So the call same sometimes the call come from back to front. Okay, but this one is a, that's why it's very very important from positive direction. The current you take current, current take the current. You take the wire. You see the wire, the coil, front to back or back to front. So this one current front to back, front to back. So front to back means this wire is at this. This wire is front to back. The current is going up. This four fingers shows direction current. Current like this. And thumb shows north pole. Thumb shows north pole. And south pole. Okay, what is the direction of the magnetic uh, magnetic field? North pole, okay, this one direction. You put compasses, the compasses shows north pole, north pole. This way, this way. Because, because this direction is compass, north, direction for north and south. Come out from north and go to south. Come out from north and go to south. That's electromagnetic direction. As, as I told you, north pole, direction of the magnetic field starts from north pole and the south pole. Start from North Pole and South Pole. So that one, uh, if, you, if you put a compasses X and Y, compass X and Y, the compass X shows North Pole this direction. And if you put a compass at uh, X Y, while the compass here also, this compass also shows this this North Pole, North, North Pole this direction, North Pole this direction, this direction. Inside the direction. So the answer is this one. Arrow. Arrow both direction. So the answer is must be uh, C. Answer must be C. Okay. And question number 15. Question 15. Current flows in solenoid as shown in figure X, Y, Z. Are the point, points along the axis uh, uh, of the solenoid. How do the strength of magnetic field X, Y, Z compare? Answer B, equal at X and Z, but stronger at Y. Equal at X and Z, equal at X and Z, but stronger at Y. Stronger at Y. Y equal X and Z. Y, X and Z, equal X and Y, X and Z. Uh, X and Z is equal. Because the same distance, same distance equal. But stronger at Y, this Y, stronger at Y. So all this one, as I told you last week, last week I, I draw the pattern for the electromagnetic field for solenoid. Electromagnetic field solenoid, I, I draw the uh, pattern for you. So the magnetic field is very, very, all the lines are joining at Y. All the, not joining, but they come together. Okay. So Y, so this Y will be stronger. The Y will be stronger. So X and Z must be equal strength because same distance, same distance. So X and Y, X and Z are equal, but the stronger at Y. Question number 16, which of the following material is the most suitable for the core of the electromagnet? Core of the electromagnet is soft iron, na? soft iron, okay, soft iron. And uh, this question is, uh, is, uh, Question B and C. Question two B. Two B. Hmm. Okay, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, this question, such a question. Question such a. Question two B and two C. I will uh, uh, do later. Uh, maybe this week. This week, one of the days, I will. Uh, I will find you. I'll contact with you. Mm, this question I will do. I will do for you. Okay. And uh, for this lesson, these questions, I will uh, owe you the question number 11, question number 11 and question number 2, question number 2B and 2C. I will do this question one of these days. Yeah. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay.